good. I've raised the front, but it's still a little low. Seems to handle pretty good though. And then that carbon boot looks pretty, uh, pretty smart. Now today we're going to be going to Indigo GT. Um, could have picked a nicer day for it, but um, we can actually find out what power this car is making. So uh, we'll get in the car and I'll chat to you while I'm driving down there. Hi guys, so we're off to Indigo GT in the Evo. Hopefully going to be getting um, a power run on the dyno. Now place your bets, what do you think it's going to make? You first Steve, what power do you think it's going to make? You've been in it. Oh, oh this camera's shaking like hell, I can't keep my hands straight. <laughs> if, if it's not mapped on Indigo's roller, I'm going to say 280. Yeah. But if it's standard, because the dyno is harsh, maybe 290, I'm going to go 280, 290. If it yeah. makes over that, I probably think it's been mad, but I don't, don't really know. So that's my guy. I tell you what, I'll go in the middle, 285. Yeah. I'll say 280. Now, I feel like it's going to have a high spike of torque, and then for the power, the brake horsepower, I don't think it's actually going to be that much higher. Um, I think because it's got some modifications, like the decap, I think it's going to have a surge of torque, maybe. And then, but that's just my prediction 280 brake is what i is what i think now indigo gt are known to have a bit of a, a low reading dyno steve's been there haven't you you've been on a few dynos in your car and yeah. you went to indigo a couple of days later you went somewhere else and you made about 10 percent more power was it well i made at indigo i made 227 and another dyno i made 250 yeah but i would say the real figure is probably somewhere in the middle Right. But then all dangles are different, so, um, so... So realistically then, if I get about 280 here, we'd probably be making realistically about 300. Yeah, I would say so. So I, I, I think if it's a genuine 300 horsepower, 280 on you will be bang on the money. But, but I don't know. Yeah. It might, I, that's, that's just as going on the thinking of do these make, make standard power? If they're known for making more, like some Japanese cars, then it might make more. I, I got a video on my channel actually of my friend, he had a blue one of these, SST, exactly the same car, and his made 298 horsepower, when it's supposed to make 200 and, uh, 300, so that was spot on, but that was at a different dyno. Was that on the Dyno Dynamics? I don't know, was it SEM Remaps? I don't know what it was. Uh, well, I know um, Indigo is a Dyno Dynamics and they are harsh. Yeah. So place yeah. your bets in the comments anyway, and no cheating, put your guess down. Well what about talk? Are we going to guess talk? Alright then, I reckon 3, 330 foot pounds. Alright, I'm going to go for 315, because okay. what these Dyna Dynamics do, they do read brake horsepower low, but talk a bit high. So I'm going to go 285, 315. Maybe we are. And what are guess. you? I'm 280 horsepower, 330 torque. Because I feel like the torque surge is quite good, but I don't think the top end power is there. And that's just my prediction. So we, it's only one, there's only one way to find out. Yeah. So let's catch up with you in a minute. Let's do this. So it's on the dyno now, waiting to have the run done. It's all strapped up. Whoops, Fifth give me a heart attack then. <laughs> yeah, so it's on there. Uh, they put a wide band in as well. So we're going to get AFRs plotted on the graph. We're going to know whether it's running right, whether the power's uh, all, all good, what torque it's making, um, what boost it's running at. And I basically, I want to just find out if it's had a decap without a map or a decap with a map. Um, yeah. But they seem confident that it's going to make 300 or more. Yeah. So, they said 300 or more. They said they all no. make 300 or more. I'm, I'm not so confident, but what do I know? Well, if it makes so, I'm going to be the closest. Now, because you said 280, I said 285. So I win either way. Yeah. Unless. Unless it's under. 
Well, well you, you were never going to win. I'll, I'll win whatever happens because if it's under 285, I was right. If it's over 285, I got a faster well, car than I thought. If it's under 285, you're, you're going to win the cry. Yeah. And then. Depends if which way you look at it. Whatever. I'm the winner, whatever happens. T tell him about what happened when you asked him, well, do you think you'll win on track? Evo versus the Fiesta. Oh yeah, I said, well, do you reckon we'll win on track and Evo or a Fiesta? They said a Fiesta's not even in the same world. Oh, so don't even that, consider, don't even his, mention his Fiesta's round you. Oh, them Fiesta's are wicked on track, man. See, they know. Yeah. They know. They you know, know the deal. They said the, the Evo's actually really heavy, which it is. What well, they but actually said was we work on Evo's, but we wouldn't reckon. Reality's going to be hitting reckon. home, and it's going to be hitting home hard in the shape of a blue... Fiesta ST probably to me. <laughs> <laughs> we don't think so. Right, so we'll catch up to you in a bit when it's uh, finally on having the run done. So they're going to be monitoring the boost levels there. Commented on my coilovers as well. You don't see external reservoir coilovers often. That's because we're running those nice BC external reservoir coilovers. Well, so Do you do the running super sport then? Or is it, does yeah, it doesn't matter? Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter, but we will do it in super sport. Is it? Once you saw it there, you're only going to get more. You want to see it at your heart, isn't it? Yeah, you said it's leaning out. Leaning out, is it? It's not even getting down, look. You want to be under 12? Yeah. And you're at 13. Okay. Uh, that's why it's not making the power, it's not getting the fuel in it. What do you reckon the fuel relay for this go? I can swap the relay over now. 
quick and give it a run. Yeah. You can just use one of the other ones on the car. Yeah. Um, we'll have a look see if that changes. You've got the latest. Do you switch it up? Yeah. Uh, you've got the latest relay in there, the Panasonic one. Yeah. I did change it. Yeah. Just need to map there, maybe. Possible, because you've got the dump valve and whatnot. Yeah. So, but it's, it's just doing it's running pathetic, that pathetic, though, isn't it? But <laughs> there's not enough fuel there to make the power. Yeah. So. The thing is, there's black smoke coming out the back. Okay. They do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> What would you get it down into the 11s then, is it? Or? I'd be looking on the car this age now, I'd be looking at running sort of 11.7, 11.8 and then dipping it to 11.5 at the top. Right, mm. okay. So a lot of people run them at 12. Yeah. I tend to go that little bit safer. Yeah. So usually lean makes power, but obviously what's the easy of doing something is pulling time in because of it, is it? Or? Yeah, because it burns a lot hotter, you more like to get a bit of knock and stuff like that. Ah. So it could be that it's just yeah. retarding the ignition a little bit. You can see the power curve in the no, because it's quite flat. Um, that's combined with the fact that the boost is tailing off. So you're getting a surge of torque and then it's dropping right back. Like, is that the torque, is it? Uh, this is the boost curve. Oh, right. So the, is, would that do that naturally anyway, or is that mapped? You, when you have them mapped, it would look a bit more like this. Yeah. That's the boost. Right. Kind of what you was hoping for, wasn't it? Well, and the bullet car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that's why. Yeah, I had a feeling it was something wasn't quite right. It feels it feels talky, but like like I said, it, is coming in it, it doesn't. But it doesn't then. Hold. Yeah. Like the mentally, it feels quick, but it ain't actually that quick. Yeah. Right. What's the what's the wheels figure on that then? Might need to go high bridges to make standard to power then. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Two, got power over that two, yeah. 10, 205. Yeah. Alright, that's fine. At least you know, don't give it idling at the moment. Yeah. Well, yeah, he gives it idling every time he takes it off. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Sorry. So, what'd you make of that then, Steve? <clears throat> well, it is lower than I expected, 269. I thought, I'd like, say 285, but that was based on. Like thinking that they can make their power on a dyno, but historically dyno dynamics they are harsh. So I'm not surprised from that point of view because oh, dyno dynamics. I think every dyno I've ever been to has just broken arms. Um, well, phones go everywhere. It's just the yard. They, they, people are always uh, disappointed coming away from dyno dynamics. I know. In the early days when I first went on one, I was like shocked how much lower they read than elsewhere. But what do you think is the main uh, thing wrong? Was that, re was that recording? Yeah, I just I hit the power button. What'd you say? Yeah, so, what do you think is the main thing wrong? What, what's your feeling? You, I'm a bit confused to be honest. I thought um, I've had a lot of comments in the clubs, people saying it feels faster than 300. I've had people in the car who have Golf R's and they reckon it feels faster than their Golf R standard. Um, so the car feels faster than 260. Obviously I'm going to accept the results, wasn't expecting a lot. Just sort of trying to figure out where the car is starting from. But I'm going to have a little bit of a think about it. But I think my my, my opinion at the moment is that it's a very harsh reading dyno. It's usually about 10% lower than what a normal dyno would run, as we spoke about before we even got here. So 10% of 300 is what? 
roads today. I wasn't. I was more for a diagnostic thing. Yeah. And um, what uh, Ant has sort of done a bit of extra monitoring on on my car in this case, and um, he's found that the the AFRs are running a bit too lean due to the decat. And also, when the boost comes in, we're getting a little spike of torque, and they reckon it might maybe cutting the ignition, uh, cutting the what's it called, the ignition Type. timing. And the car might be sort of like holding back power because the decat's sort of messing up things. So basically, we're going to have to get it mapped. Basically, if you can take one thing away, hang on. If you can take one thing away, I'll say that they love Fiestas over the Indigo GT. Carry on, roll. Yeah, so they've gone down in my box big time, to be honest. They they couldn't sing enough praises about how good a Fiesta the ST is. Yeah. But anyway, go on. Sorry to interrupt you. If I take away one thing from that, 269 was 270. Um, like, you know, we said before we even got here, it's going to make about 10% less than what it actually is. Um, so it's making about standard power, but it's not running right. So we'll have to figure that out. Thanks for watching.